Darling, I got my trust issues. Wouldn't you stay away if we meet at the rendezvous? Take me away someday. Alright, uh, hey everyone, uh, my name is Zorik Salvo, and uh, yeah, that song that I just played is a Thai song, it is from uh, Pim Bieber it. it's called Lover Boy, so I figured it might as well uh, play some of it before we start, and yeah, I'm here to talk about music and Python, and this might sound a little bit uh, clickbaity because we're not gonna go deep into the music, the technicalities of uh, music composition because I am no composer. I am just a music hobbyist and that happens to be a Python developer. And those two passion meet. So yeah, right now I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm coding Python to generate music for fun. And yeah, a little bit something about myself. Oopsie. Yeah, I am Zarek Salbo. I'm from the Philippines. I am a Python developer and I have worked in various uh, software as a service startups. Uh, first one was FinTech, second one FinTech third one, health tech, and right now I'm working on a CRM, SAS, SAAS uh, uh, provider. And also I am a Python Philippines uh, volunteer. Then, uh, just some random, just some, ra just some random images about my myself and my passion. So this one, the first one, this is me playing on a local concert, well, on an online local concert. And the second one is uh, Python Philippines uh, members. Third one is my uh, Ultimate Frisbee team. And uh, the last one is me playing uh, at a open mic session gig in in a central business district. This is what I do every time. <laughs> every, I think every week, we are we are going outside our office and going to the bar, play some music, etc., etc. And yeah. So random fact: Did you know that most professionals like uh, listening to music at work and are more productive when they do? So survey shows that more than eight in ten workers are able to listen to music at work and enjoy it. And younger workers most up to enjoy tunes while working. And 71% of employees at least somewhat more productive than listening to music. I think listening to music is a common phenomenon among software developers in today's works environment. Because uh, in, in addition to blocking out uh, background noise, studies have shown that music can reduce stress, improve happiness, and even increase uh, performance. So the goal of my talk here is uh, why not uh, generate our own music using the tools we are using at work? Because uh, this is true to me uh, as well. Because I tend to put on my put my heads my headphones on to indicate that I am I am in the work mode, and yeah, I think I think something like a do not disturb mode. Uh, indicator, especially when we were in the office face to face setup. So, yeah. So, next one is the toolkit. So, yeah, let's talk about the technology that we are about to use, or rather, the tools that we are about to use. First, of course, Python. It's interpreted, object oriented. Uh, High-level programming language with dynamic semantics. Uh, High-level because it, it has strong abs abstraction from the details of the computer, which we are really needed since we're going to use 
this one, uh, this this module, Py module. It is a Python module written in C to help digital processing script creation. So as you can see, uh, this the audio processing etc is uh, heavily lifted by C and abstracted by Python. So so Python really acts there as a glue to other uh, programming language or or heavier uh, programming language low level. And also PYO provides a complete set of classes to build uh, audio software, compose algorithmic music, or simply explore audio processing. So I have here, wait a second. PYO, Python. I want to show you first the the homepage of PYO. It is created by by Olive, Olivier Belanger. It's a dedicated Python module for digital signal processing. And yeah, we're gonna heavily use this uh, module. And now that we've discussed the tech to make this possible, let's do some coding. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, first one, we, we need to start the pile server. So I have here my terminal. So I'm just gonna copy it. Let's spawn up a Python shell, pile port as also server. And also, we can we can set our uh, designated output device. In my case, I guess it's it's number twelve. It's it's my it's my headphone and server s that boot. Yep, it, it booted. Start s that start and s that ui locals. And yep, as you can see, this is a PIO server. If, if we set up, uh, or if we code some, some sounds there, it, it, it gonna, you're gonna hear something. But, but this one, we can, we can only change the amplitude or the loudness of the sounds. So, stop it first. Quit. Yep. So, next one, now that we are able to start the PYO server, let's go to the hello world of audio programming okay so in here we're gonna create a sine wave player so i think it's gonna it's gonna put out some uh, sound or something a beep sound oopsie so let's try that Oops, it's not in my screen. So I'm gonna open a Python shell first again. Then let's do what we did earlier. From Python, uh, from Pio, import all. You want to, to import all the, the packages or the objects we have in Pio. So this equals to server, that boot, and oopsie you have to select uh, another output device which is my headphone and server that amp we can we can uh can actually put it in the code the one we have the the one we are toggling earlier so one create a sign signal and oopsie the server must be booted for creating any object oops i forgot to boot it again server that boot and side that out then server that let's open the uh graphical interface and start 
if I hit start, you're gonna hear some ping sound. Yeah. And you can set it. And also, as, as you can hear, I, I mean, as you can see, it, it, it defaulted to negative 20 since uh, set it to 0 0.1. And yeah. So yeah, that's that's uh that's the hello world of uh, audio programming, and let's move to the next one. So yeah, sine wave is a uh, sine wave is defined as a curve representing periodic oscillation of constant amplitude, as given as uh, as given by a sine function. Sine waves are sometimes described as pure tones because they represent a consistent single oscillation. Oscillators in a synthesizer or otherwise uh, produce these alternating current signals along with uh, various other types of waveform to be employed as musical devices. And yeah, all sounds in nature are fundamentally constructed of sine waves. More complex sounds seem to contain more oscillation at different frequencies stuck one upon another. Yep. And now that we are able to to produce some sound using Python, uh, I was thinking if we can we can uh, we can create the Doremi or the uh, or the major chords uh, equivalent of opsine. So I I looked for some frequency for, for starting from the uh, middle C. So let, let's try coding this, and I'm gonna introduce you to some another PYO uh, objects called events and event sequence. Okay. So I think we already have server um uh, let's uh, let's uh name this this as do 261 that 63 re 277 18 me oh re should be 293.66 because we're gonna be using the major chords E is equal to 3, ah, do, re, mi, 3, 2, 9, point, 6, 3, 3, fa, B, 3, 4, 9, 23, uh, sol, B, 3, 9, 2, la, is 4, 4, t, point, 0, 0, t, uh, 4, 93, Eighty-eight and dot two four five two three twenty-five. Okay, now that we have all the frequency of the major chords, let's try um, creating an event. Event uh, event frequencies are event sequence, and we're gonna just put the mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, tu and occurrences 1 play oops, event is not defined so I guess we have to to re-import all of this I think I, I accidentally closed uh, or or na, I think it's events. Let's reboot that. So, server that set out. What's it? By server that boot. Server that start. And yeah, I think we still have our daughter in Pasolati though. Let's, uh, Events.
Can you hear that? It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit uh, loud. So I hope you you hear that uh, that song, that sound. And pretty cool, right? Uh, we just uh, we just added a list of uh, frequencies and play it in sequence. And next, so now that we have. Uh, now that we are able to play the major major skill using Python and PYO, uh, let's play another easy but complete that uses uh, the major scale. Okay, so I think I have already coded it. Uh, so this is one. Um, This is uh, one example. I I've coded a Twinkle Twinkle Little Star song using the uh, frequencies that we we set earlier. Pretty cool, right? Uh, Okay, stop. Next example that I'm gonna show to you is the oopsie the harmonizer. So in this example, uh, I'm gonna show you how to chain processes on a single source, and every processing every processing object have a pres argument called input, and this argument takes the uh, object object uh, to process. So. We're gonna chain the processes here. I have already, I already have some code. This one. So first, uh, we're gonna set up the server again. Set the default amplitude, and in, th in this part, we're gonna create a sine wave source to process. This will be the input. Gonna gonna pass the sine wave through a harmonizer, then harmonize sound through another har harmonizer, and again and again. So let's try, uh, play let's try playing this uh, code. So here's the Pi server. As you can see, Unlike unlike what we we are doing uh, earlier, which we are only producing um, a pure sound, a single pure sound using a single sine wave. Uh, I mean, uh, using single frequencies. This one produces now a harmony. Uh, another example that I'm about to show you is the Plainger. Uh, Plainger is an audio effect produced by mixing um, two identical signals together, one signal delayed by a small and gradually changing period. This produces a swept com filter effect. Peaks and notches are produced in resulting frequency spectrum related to each other in a linear harmonic series. Uh, Burying the time delay causes this to sweep up and down the spec, uh, the frequency spectrum. So uh, this is actually this example actually came from the documentation. So just want to show you this code. So um, here we we set up the server again. Create an input of a pink noise. It's like a static noise, PB static noise. Finger's parameter, the depth, we, we are sending signals, um, at a pole of frequency oscillator speed. And these are th this will show up uh I think something something like a, a knob or so or yeah, yeah, a knob that we can we can adjust later later on 
also we have here the sign uh, sign object with with the frequency of the LFO speed the delay that we set up here times the depth that uh, we can we can we can uh, can adjust later and yeah actually let's just uh, let's just play it let's just run the script Python Plainger py and yeah here it is uh where are the other knobs let's see only shows the modulation that let's try. Or the LFO frequency. Wait a second, I'm gonna stop it first. Uh, yeah. That's so we have three knobs uh, the LFO speed, the depth, and the feedback. So let's, let's try. Right, and yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I just want uh, to show you the other um, things we can do with with uh, PYO. There's actually a lot, so if you want to uh, to explore this, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot to learn. Oopsie. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is a metro, or I think it's metronome. Um, it this object generates uh, an iso isochronous trigger signals, and a trigger is an audio signal with a value of one surrounded by zero. So. This is an example from, from the documentation. So we have here the cosine table, uh, metronome, trigger envelope, and random triggers. So let's try uh, playing it. Uh, where's my terminal? Oops. Python metro.py. And it, and it and it'll sound like this. And yep. And based from all of those things that I have uh, talked about earlier, I was able to. I was able to. To have this melody. Python yep, It uses all the things that we we talked about uh, earlier and Basically that's it if you want to uh, listen to more of, of uh, Python generated uh, music there is actually Python IPIO radio. All of these are written in, in Python. Whoa. And uh, also, there are other packages that I have yet to uh, explore. So I think this one's also uh, actively developed. So I might check this out uh, in the future. And yeah, uh, some conclusion, this talk we've discussed, but Python really has a wide variety of usage such as, so I mean, what, what I mean here is, uh, aside from this, uh, from this usages, we can also 
use Python in in recreational uh, things like music and game development. And thanks, and that's it. Go ahead. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the uh, live Q and A for our speaker uh, this afternoon. If you haven't uh, seen his track uh, or the uh, talk, you know better watch it after this. But yeah, if you do have questions, please put it on the Q and A tab that you can see on the right hand side of your screen uh, on the sidebar. So before, uh, without further, without further ado, our speaker for this afternoon has been a developer for over five years. Uh, he worked in a various S S A A S or software as service startups in the field of FinTech, Health Tech, CRM, which mainly uses Python for integrating systems to third party services. You know, so um, he's a seasoned Python developer, uh, which, of course, is the resident singer, I believe, of Python PH. <laughs> <laughs> and no okay. other than uh, Zorek Salvo. Good afternoon, sir. Thanks for that, uh, Anel. So uh, I, I don't think we have a lot of questions for now, but uh, I, I guess, well, well the, the talk that I have presented is, is pretty new to me as well. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking we can have a discussion of, of on how on how we can um, improve it because because uh, I I just recently noticed that it, it is tagged also uh, as in machine learning uh, I mean mm -hmm. the description that uh, was tagged but really I I didn't do machine learning in in, in my uh, in my talk so so basically mm -hmm. I just uh, I I just did the digital signal processing so mainly I I removed the <clears throat> Mainly, I removed mm -hmm. the the usage of the analog instruments, etc., to to produce mm -hmm. music. So, but 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 I would like to get your opinion on this, since you delve into this and and you mentioned that you are also new to this uh, thing. Yeah. Yes, you know, uh, it's a constant learning for everybody, especially with Python. We want to stretch the software as far as we can, you know, yeah. to help us in our daily needs. And uh, as what Rose pointed out. Uh, on the chat, composing music with Python, you know, kind of got her, you know, uh, with this. So how do you see using Python as platform with a lot of modules available in there? You trying it out, you know, uh, di digitalizing uh, notes and things like that based yep. on your uh, talk. How do you think we're going to be moving forward from this point on? I mean... Uh, I guess the first step would be like uh, using the Python, using Python, uh, using PYO specifically to to like generate uh, uh, like Matt said in, in my in my talk. Is definitely gonna gonna be using it for for like uh, game background music and themes. I think because uh, because unlike the analog one, the the synth waves uh, produced by it is, is is not really natural sounding, so it's it's gonna be appealing to some uh, some genre. Like uh, I'm thinking of uh, using this kind of uh, music with 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 Joji's song. It, it's it's a uh, it's it's a lo-fi uh, genre song. So yeah. Okay, so so we got we got one question uh, that Francois posted in the chat. So he said, "Do you think that combining machine learning and music in Python can really create good music?" Well, yeah, I, I've been following a, I, I think another, uh, I forget the name, another someone who is using PYO with with this project. Uh, he's do, is creating music using uh gen genetic algorithm but uh uh like uh he he, he made the machine to to produce a, a set of uh harmonies etc Harmony. and and, mm -hmm. and he and he's still uh he's still checking it one by one and is the one who's okay. deciding if if if, 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 it, if if he thinks it's uh it's really good he's gonna mm -hmm. he's gonna use it 
So yeah, uh, so to answer that, it can really create good music. It it it, but with the help of the human who who, uh, who will uh, okay. Thank you. No, the same way, the same way that, same way that Paul, McCartney Paul McCartney used to write, used to write, used to write, songs. Used to write songs. John Lennon. Oh, uh, let's welcome Violet. Violet in the Hi. house. Hi. <laughs> yes. Would you like to say some uh, hello to everybody? Oh, hello, everybody. Um, I don't know. My dad just dragged me here, so I really <laughs> don't know what's going on. <laughs> It's about no, I think, I, think, I, think, I think a lot, of, a lot us of us here are a, uh, are fan, a fan of following you on YouTube. You know, listening to your song. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, see, yeah. see the, see see the, the, uh, the uh, on the live chat, the chat, everybody was like, Gatok said, like, oh my God. So, I think Gatok really, you know, know mm. you. Uh, Rose or Thorari, you know. And uh, yes, so everybody thank there in the live chat. And I hope you're having a conference conference. For the weekend that you've been having. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. And, and we said to Francois, why didn't he allow you to see, you know, render a song, you know, during the conference? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I okay, think so all I'm the time. I'm just gonna let you guys do your thing. Um, thank you so much. Yes. I'm just thank you so that. much. Yes, <laughs> thank you for gracing the track. Bye. Have a safe day. All right. Wow. Thank you so much, Francois. For uh, for having a uh, violet in case the occasion, I think most of the uh, our Thai, uh, PyCon Thailand are like jumping up and down on the uh, live yeah. chat. <laughs> 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 okay, now going back, I like the I like the thing that you pointed out, which is also a part of what we have discussed yesterday yeah. with Niraj, yeah. that humans will always be a part when it comes to the arts, right? Yeah. Now the same way at Paul McCartney or John Lennon composes music, it's still, they will still have the, the, the signature, you know, that they yep. have on the music that they do. But as what Francois posted on the uh, live chat, could we train, do you think, since, since when we do machine learning or AI in Python, we always train our data sets yeah, yeah. to do something. Yeah. Do you think we can do that we can we train the data that we can collect from the music to create a unique sound or a unique art well well i guess so i think uh, some some companies are already doing that like they're 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 collating uh the the songs that that they think is appealing to to us to humans so yeah but like they're uh I mean, they're, they're what, what do you call that? Uh, I think they're they're they're, gen, they're uh they're they're really creating um uh good music with that, but mm -hmm. but still uh we still need the artist to to perform it. It's like not 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 that really appealing to to human who if, if they're just uh just like listening to to mm -hmm. to. Uh, artificial okay. sounds, etc. Yeah. So, so to, to answer the question that Man posted uh, on the live chat, thank you so much, Man, for the question. Is artists about to lose their job to AI composing music? Because that is the thing you mentioned; yeah. it's already being done. Let yeah. us say, if we if we map all Taylor Swift song together with Ed Sheeran, would we be able to come up with a Taylor Sheeran kind of songs in the future? I think that is something that you know uh, they they are they wanted to, we wanted to know. Well, well, well. The thing is, is, we are we are already uh like we are already listening the music. I, mm -hmm. I, I mean, we're still continuing listening the music, but we still go to concerts. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. We we I think we really need the artists to, to perform it because uh, for me uh, it's not fulfilling that i'm just uh well to 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 lots of fans it's not uh really that fulfilling that that we only hear our Listen. our mm -hmm. idols digitally we, we, we uh what's it yeah mm -hmm. so the human touch yeah there will always be the, there will always be the human element you know or, or the excitement so the question again or, or the question will now be something like 
who do we really fall in love to? The artist or the art? Hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, like, of course, we, don't, we all have our biases. You yeah, know? Okay. I mean, you know, you, you've seen it here in the Philippine music scene. Or, or those people who love K-pop. Right? They do have different biases in that genre. Filipinos yeah. are also subdivided on the type of music that they would listen to or type of the arts that they wanted to. So, in, in this sense, will it be the artist or the art that we really fall in love with? I think uh, it's, it's a mix of both. Because uh, like what, what I said uh, early, uh, yesterday, that mm-hmm. the, the output is not really the, the whole art. It's it's like gonna be the art is the action and the the something it produces a piece of art. So uh, I'm thinking uh I'm thinking well we have like uh movies of of, of how how this song is created and, and and a lot of people are are watching it and learning about how how the learning about the backgrounds etc. I think it, it's not mm-hmm. it's not only the sound that it produced, the music it produced, but also the the things behind behind, behind. that music. Yeah. Okay. So, Thank you so much. Yeah. You know. Now, something a question from Alison. Do you have a dream pet project that also uses Pio? Did yeah. You, Pio, right? You pronounce yeah, it Pio. Pio. Yeah. Okay. Pio. Pio. Well, well, I'm thinking moving forward. Uh, well. The sound that I am creating is just like uh, it can be like uh, ambient sounds right now. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking if if I can uh, I can I can uh, progress with the project. I'm I'm gonna use some some like like fitness band or something that that can ge- that, that that detects my heart rate etc. and and produce and produce uh, wow. ambient sounds that uh, that that's related to 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 what I'm feeling. Yeah. Wow, sounds of my heart. I think that's, that's what you want wanted to hear. The sounds <laughs> of my heart, right? Oh, okay. That is a good application that you would, you know, like, yeah, on a smartwatch or a smart device that you will you will map those and create a sound. Okay. Oh, Francois has a question. Are you familiar with White Label? I am not familiar. Oh, Okay, so Francois, would you be able to yes, like, give us a... Let me explain what it is. It's actually a label that just does a lot of ambience music and stuff like that. And I'm not sure to what extent... I want, I'm not sure to what extent they're using computers to do that. But, I mean, it, it's uh, it's available on uh, one of the applications. I can't remember which one. And uh, they're doing a lot of ambience music. I can share it with you if you want to uh, have some of those albums. Shit. Yeah. Mm. That's very good. That's very good. Now, uh, for those for those young people here, I think polyphonic polyphonic ringtone back then when we did not have the smartphone was was uh, was able to create those kinds of sounds, right? With yeah. with the uh, the notes where yeah. the tone would would be really the equivalent, and which is almost the same as what you did. Do you think coming would it be like a device dependent? Like, if I'll be able now to use a better sound card coupled with a couple of amplifiers, would I create a much better sound away from the polyphonic sounding tone that we, we used to know when we create digital music? Yeah, definitely. Uh, actually, there, there is a, there is a, a function in, in Pio where you can uh, integrate your voice and, and, it, and it will pr- produce... A, something different with the effects uh, created by by PYO so definitely wow. it, it it can be used with wow. hmm. that, that is really that is really interesting i i, I yeah. think i think in yeah the, the yeah, vocal that... okay <laughs> man you're composing in Nokia 3310 or 3210. That's cool, man. That's cool. You know. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we're about we're about uh, at the last stretch of our uh, Q and A. Um, you know, any any parting words, Sorex, uh, for our listeners uh, this uh, afternoon. Yeah. As I guess maybe uh. I'll definitely improve this uh, this talk, and I'm 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 planning to like 
do uh, uh, more things with, with it. So, mm-hmm. so where, where can we best uh, follow you, man? So that at least, you know, we could see the progression that you have on this uh, track. Uh, all my handles are at Sorex Albo. So you can just uh, okay. follow me. That Twitter, way. Instagram, yeah. Facebook. Okay, yeah. you could also see him uh, in uh, one of the uh, watering places in the Manila. BGC? Do you play at BGC every Friday? Uh, no. <laughs> in Ortigas. In Ortigas. In Ortigas. Yeah. Okay, in Ortigas. Every Friday, you can catch him playing there. Friday night. So we'll put the schedule up. Again, thank you so much. I know that tech will always be there for the arts and the arts will always be there for the tech and we know we always love the arts. So, Francois, thank you for brightening you. also up our day with your daughter, <laughs> Violet. And, um, you know, I think she'll be having a lot of followers after this. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, thank you all. Um, thank you so much. Oh. And, uh, see you around. Thank you for joining our conference. Thanks, guys. All right.